Ethan, when a sprinter arrives in second place, is never happy. Can you tell your mind and uh, can you tell about your sprint? Yeah, <laughs> yeah obviously it's uh, quite frustrating, isn't it, to come second. Um, kind of, we got the finish, the finish got a little bit messy and I followed Cavagna myself when he attacked and then uh, ended up on the front with 500 metres to go and had to lead, lead out myself and uh, Van der Poel obviously timed it better and um, got me on the line. Tomorrow it's a hard stage, I don't think it's a sweet very much for you, but you, are, you make a really good race in uh, Coppia Bartali. Your balance could be quite good. Yeah, I think tomorrow could be okay. I'm not not quite at the level I was at last year, so um, you know I was competing for the compete for the rule, and uh, yeah, I think see how it goes tomorrow. And the main goal is to win the GC, and we're in the prime pole position for that. Even I remember I've seen you for the first time in uh, Giro Valpellino. You won the, mm -hmm. the race. So now, what are your goals for the season? Of course, I'm sure you want to win again that race. <laughs> yeah, we. Uh, I just try and win as many races as I can. It's a nice goal for the season, and um, keep racing. I've got the classics next with Flanders and the Ardennes, and uh, then see for the rest of the season. And uh, you already planning any Grand Tour, Giro, Tour of Vuelta, or you don't know yet? I don't think I do the Giro, but then we we'll see after that. Hopefully, I do my first Grand Tour this year. So good luck for the next race. Thank Thanks. you. One, one last question, please. When you see Van der Poel attacking so early, did you think like, uh, okay, he's gonna uh, waste, I would say, uh, match energies? Or you were like uh, uh, aware Sorry. that uh, he's anyway a really strong guy and after 50 k's in front, uh, he had the steel energies for the sprint? I think uh, it was obvious what Alperson were gonna do. They, I mean, we thought he would go in the breakaway and we weren't gonna ride today, so the breakaway would stay, but um, they decided not to go and then they decided to pull really hard for the start and so it was obvious they uh, were going to try something and he attacked on this descent which was quite technical and uh, we just took no risks obviously and let him go <laughs> and uh, but then he came back and in the end got me on the line so he embarrassed me really. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks.